I'm Mike Sullivan, and today we're at Bloomingdale Golf Club just outside of Chicago. We're going to talk about one thing you can do as soon as you take that club back to help you get your golf swing on plane so you'll stop slicing. Thank you very much to David Shawcross and Bloomingdale Golf Club for having us out here today. We're just traveling through Chicago on the way to Aaron Hills uh, up in the uh, Milwaukee area up in Wisconsin and we, we figured we'd stop by. We had a little bit of time and they graciously allowed us to use their property to do this video. So thank you very much. All right. If you are slicing or if you are having just general contact problems, this is something you should take a look at. You should take a look at the way you are taking the club back. So let's see what we're talking about here. So when we get started in our backswing, we want to be able to have our club start off what we call on plane. So right here you can see that my golf club shaft, while it's parallel to the ground, is also parallel to my target line. So if we can just get started, keeping the club in this position to start, as I keep turning, I'm going to hinge my club, and you'll notice that the low end of the club here is pointing inside of the target line here. I'm not in a flat position. So here, here's where this really starts to relate with slicing. Most people who slice, they start to understand that one of the problems that they may have is they may have this swing path where the club comes from outside the target line, cuts across the ball, and puts slice spin on the ball. So they say to themselves, hey, I've got to get this club coming from the inside. They feel like they've got to get that club coming from the inside of the target line, swinging out to the right to be able to get rid of the slice and start hitting a draw. So one of the things we need to make sure we understand though, just about everybody who gets their club off plane too flat, see how the low end of the club is pointing well outside of the target line? They think this is going to help them swing the club from the inside of the target line, but it usually doesn't. It results in a compensation to get the shaft more up, upright so they can hit their ball, and that gives them, though, that out to in swing path. So it seems like we should get the club really flat to come from the inside, but that's not what we want. If anything, it's easier if you get a little bit upright and drop under to come from the inside. So here's where we're going to start with this. So many people that we see who slice, so many people, they get started in their golf swing with their hands controlling the club. The first thing they do is they get those hands going, then they turn back, but what's happened is they've already got the club really, really flat. So here's what we're gonna do, and I'll show you from this angle. So when hands start first, we get flat. We need a one-piece takeaway that I'm sure you've heard of before. So here's how we're gonna learn how to do it. I'm going to take this club and I'm going to actually grip it so that the butt end of the club is right on my belt buckle. We call this the butt in the, the, <laughs> the butt in the gut drill. Say that three times fast. Butt in the gut. And I'm going to start my swing now making sure I use my shoulders to get started. And it makes it a lot easier to get started with this one piece takeaway this way and keep your club on plane. So what you want to do is if you're slicing, Get, just get a mirror out so you can see what you're doing from down the target line. Do your butt in the gut drill a couple times. And then go to a playing position and really feel as you start back that the shoulders are starting that downswing, or that, that backswing, excuse me, instead of the hands. This is where that phrase, bring the club back low and slow comes in. So if I were to bring the club back low and slow, that encourages more of a shoulder type of a backswing. I really like to talk about though specifically what's happening that's getting people in trouble. So low and slow can be a good thought, but usually what we're trying to prevent is we're trying to prevent that handsy type of a takeaway, which gets us flat and makes us come over the top. So let's give it a try. First I'll do my drill, butt in the gut, practice swing back, practice swing back. Now I'm gonna try it from a regular playing position. Picking out my target. Back there. 
back there. And you'll notice here I'm exaggerating. I'm keeping the club a little bit outside of my hands. That's, that's perfectly fine as we do this. Now I'm going to hit my shot. So that ball started off a little bit to the right of my target line over here and started drawing back to the left. Pretty good shot. I'm pretty happy to say actually my first swing of the day. So if you want to switch, quit slicing, you want to get rid of that flat backswing, put that butt in your gut and practice getting that club back so the club head is a little outside of your hands and exactly what we would love to do is get that club shaft parallel to your target line while it's parallel to the ground. Like this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up for a like and if you subscribe to our channel you'll be notified by email each time that we produce a new instructional video